Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Last Tuesday, I published a video on how to build a team for your art business. And after that, we received many messages on Instagram saying, I'm a young artist. I would love to have a team working on my project. I would love to be able to afford hiring people, but I don't have any money. I have debts and where can I start? It's a really valid question because having a team and having money is like chicken and egg. You need team members to attract investments and you need investments to pay for a team. So how are you going to do it? Today I'm going to talk about it and perhaps I can help you start building a team with little funding or with almost no money at all. You are an artist, so try to leverage your exceptional art skills. I hope you have some really, really unique skills you can offer to other people. For example, you can get in touch with a tech startup in your region and say, I'm a designer, I'm an artist, I can, you know, in exchange of blah, 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 I will do a VI, a visual identity for your startup instead of you spending thousands of dollars to you know, outsource this or hiring a company, I can do that for you. And you can, for example, design a web store for me integrated with Shopify or uh, perhaps a social marketing, uh, whatever that you need, you can demand and exchange those skills with your design and art skills and the more the better the higher quality your skills are the more bargaining power you have and the more you can have high quality collaborators working on your project for free and if you're not happy with them you can always say okay I'm not really convinced, but I have changed my project direction. I'm going to do this and that for you. So you exchange with the amount of work they have already done, and then you move on to the next team, and there's no strings attached. This is the beauty. You're not paying money. You're not paying with equity. It's just friendly collaboration, and what you get are just hours of consulting, of work, and you can end this collaboration in peace, or you can continue for a long time to come. The next thing you can do is to get co-founders and you can have an open call on artist websites or on social media saying, I am an artist, I would love to look for like-minded artists to build this project with me, I'm looking for co-founders, I'm not paying money, I'm paying equity, which in many ways a lot better than paying money because they have a say in the project, they have the ownership in your company. But if you can hire, always pay cash first. You know, this is the last resource because you have only so much to give. You know, you have 100% of your company. Each piece of equity you're handing to a co-founder, you lose a bit of control of your art venture. So try to pay money first. If you can't, pay with equity. The third way to get money to build a team is through an angel investor. Angel investors are usually genuinely some business people are uh, very interested in the art projects and because they're so interested, it's almost like a personal hobby. And you say, okay, this is my art venture. If you like to invest in this, you're gonna get this and this and that. And perhaps you can get angel investors easier than getting co-founders depending where you are in the world. Perhaps if you're in LA, New York, you can get uh, investors like that. If you're in other parts of the world, perhaps it's you know, more difficult. It really depends. The thing is you need to be able to show that you are committed to this project. You must say, I am all in, in order to secure an angel investment. I have talked personally with many angel investors in Europe and some from America and they say, okay, if you're not even willing to spend your own money in your own project, how are you going to ask others to spend their money in your project? So you need to be able to say, I am all in, in order to get uh, funding. And perhaps you get uh, anything from 10,000, 30,000 to 50,000 max from an individual angel investor. If your project is, you know, perfectly sounding, it looks promising and you are all in, in your project. Perhaps you say, look, I graduated from this art school. It costed me a lot of money. I'm still paying back my debts. I don't have any money up front to pay, you know, for my team or invest to show an investor that I am all in. I don't have nothing to go all in. That's a very good point that you are from art school. So if you are from a world top ranked universities or art schools, that's great. 
you can leverage your degree paper and the brand of your school and say, you know, young kids, you would like to go to the top art schools in the world like I did. I'm going to show you how I'm going to teach you. And you can create traction by showing that you have done this school, you have got in and graduated so that you have something to teach them. And this way you can attract uh, many youngsters uh, are doing their gap year so that they can work on your project for free. During this year, their parents typically provide for their accommodation and money so that you can just you know teach them a few things along their way and they will be more than happy to work on the project with you and get those perks of the experience of working on a startup. Don't worry if you're not from top ranked universities or art schools and you think that your paperwork cannot create the same kind of tractions, you can still go back to your school and say to the career service center, like I am recruiting, I'm from this school, I would love you can pass the words around saying that my startup is recruiting youngsters, I pay perhaps just uh, transportation or just pocket money, very, very little money, but I am able to teach you and give you the experience experience. Meanwhile, if you're looking for a job, you can't find a job, you are building your resume with me in my startup. And this way you can use your school network and you have already spent tens of thousands of dollars paying for the school. Make the school work for you. I'm not saying that it is easy to build a team. It is one of the most difficult thing to start a startup and it's one of the most important thing as well. And I think it's like dating. You can't just sit in your home and say, I need a boyfriend or girlfriend like this, like that. You need to go out there and you need to you know, show yourself, create traction and pass the words around and use the network you have already built in your lifetime and leverage everything everything you have. And don't just wait around and at home or doing your regular day-to-day -day life. You need to you know, go out of your way to reach more people. You have to take actions. That's all what I want to say today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.